Operation, see what the hell this thing means, is now underway. So we've tracked the transmission to here. And I finally got the speaker working on this damn thing so we can play it actually what it's saying. If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. We've heard that before, Come haven't we? to a we? place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort. Make new friends, or rekindle old flames. Hmm. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert, under clear, starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles bes- Okay, I think that's Sierra Madre. Haven't we seen those posters before? Whatever it is, it sounds interesting. Fortunately, this great doesn't seem like it's going to- Hang on, Eddie, my friend. Just going to have to load some stuff onto you. Yes, I hope you understand. Well, I'm not going to be able to fit down the bloody hole with all this stuff hanging on for me. I'll be careful, I'll have Lucky with me. Itself. I need to carry around less shit. There we go. Now oh, my bag's a bit empty. I can get down this bloody thing. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. Um, gone to Sierra Madre. And. Oh, this guy doesn't seem... He's got a jar full of shit. Some 9mm. Some more food we could always take. Oh, I don't need the wine. I'll have a bit of a drink of it later. Okay, there is blood everywhere. Left my heart in the Sierra Madre. Sierra Madre this way. Okay. Let's check it out. Guys? You alright? Okay. Cover me. Hmm, some kind of terminal here. Let's see if we can get through it. Unmanned. Numbered. See, unmanned has two, so it must be the ED there. Provided. Excellent. Unlock door. Oh, this is cool. Wait, isn't that a brother had a steel sigil? No way even I could hack through that thing. 
Workbench. Reloading bench. Some kind of weird residue. Ah, laser rifle. That'll be useful. Never seen one of these before. Tiny holographic items appear off the disposing train. Wireframe schematics list of consumables a machine can assemble and package for consumer. There's a slot on the side with a Sierra Madre symbol. The slot does not look part of the original design. Hmm. Let's be. Ah, this thing's locked up tight. Oh, awesome! Copy of Dean's Electronics will have that. We have found ourselves a proper treasure pile here. Chaps, you guard the exit. This looks like a. Ah, what the? Guys! Guys! Oh, I don't feel so good. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future, not just for the world but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Oh, fuck. Oh, my head. Why does this keep happening? Did I go drinking again? Oh, shit, am I waking up in the... Oh, for fuck. Are you listening? From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid, play clever, make the mistake of saying no, that collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Collar? What? What the hell are you talking about? It's like that fit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some to Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. What do you want? That structure you see above the fountain. The Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. You've caught other people here? Around the world are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the fountain. Then we'll talk to them. 
And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Why would you do that? Because in some respects, breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking the human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. Are they all dead? The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their marks, graffiti on the walls, and victims they've killed. Some tried to help, left supplies and healing for others who came. Their reward? They were tracked down, killed by others with baser instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone following them. It killed some of them when they forgot where the traps were, or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. So, how many of the victims did you bring? Too many. many. This place is dangerous. And its quarantine measures, its hazards, have claimed many failures upon failures. Do you think I wanted to place collars on you to ensure compliance? No. If robots could have done this, I would have sent them. The Sierra Madre is a complicated lock. Cracking it open requires human hands. And where's all my stuff? The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino, this villa, it takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. The bunker. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless. And the Sierra Madre's security, in some respects, can help you, if you are resourceful enough. What do you mean? This place is well preserved. Few who came here ever return. All of the treasures of the old world lie scattered about, virtually untouched. Search, hunt, Craft what you can from what you find. The trash of the pre-war era can keep you alive. Food, knives, more. Use them. Even the villa's toxins and the residue it leaves behind can be shaped into tools and weapons. Gather it as well. Also, there is one more thing in your possession. A rifle that will keep you alive. As surely as the caller will. Uh, what is this rifle? It is a hollow rifle, a weapon I constructed when I arrived. I have since made superior models and modifications. For now, that too will have to do until you find other weapons. And I suggest you do. The hollow rifle's ammo is limited. Still, it should serve well enough. I fashioned it from the holograms of the villa and used it against the villa's living inhabitants. Wait, so there are actually people alive here? Yes. The inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. Whatever has created them, bullets, explosions, energy, it can make them inert for a time, then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Perhaps it's the cloud. Perhaps something in their physiology. Uh, cloud? The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may smell it in the air. Copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. As for its origins, I'm not certain. Pre-war industrial pollutants. Something in the Sierra Madre structure. 
It is unique across the wasteland and deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War. Uh, won't that kill me? No, while it will erode your health, it will only bring you to the point of death, no farther. At that point, the air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one, you'll die, so be careful where you stand. I've seen some survive concentration of the cloud for short periods of time, if healthy enough. Others were too weak. Rebreathers, chemical suits, there is no protection against it. It decays all it touches. I found fighting it useless. Um, anywhere I can actually rest? Anywhere sheltered from the cloud. Inside buildings, tunnels. Any place not exposed to the outside air. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms in the villa truly remain. Hologram? What are these holograms? Ghosts. They fill the villa. More in the casino. Much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. They are of no consequence, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Security doesn't sound safe to me. Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Each has an emitter, destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to you. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. A radio is going to kill me. Yeah, fucking right. Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. So, deal with them or explode? Yes, but not immediately. You'll hear a beep from your caller's detonator. When you do, step back, scan the area, and find the signal source. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. The damaged speakers are sparky, are hard to miss. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting them will not destroy them. So... How do I get rid of them then? Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their exterior. Shielded speakers can't be destroyed at all. You will need to avoid them or switch them off via a terminal. I'll leave the method up to you. Uh, I have more questions? I am short on patience, and you are short on time. What was that vending machine I saw? Assembly stations. Schematics are stored within. Dispensers with unlock codes. They use the chips scattered around as batteries. Alloys are raw material embedded in the shell. They resemble the vending machines of Mojave, but they are crafting devices of tremendous versatility. Once a noble convenience, now... Now they are a means of survival. Use the chips with power. Select from the holographic display. The device will assemble it. Uh, more questions? Uh, what is this place? I'm familiar then? with the legend of the Sierra Madre. Completely. The casino exists. You are one of the few who look upon it. Oh. Where you're standing is the villa beneath the casino above. The wreckage. The villa. Lies in the shadow. 
The villa is a dumping ground of failed construction. Pre-war junk that has aged poorly. All right, more questions. Uh, How did I get here? I brought you here. There are mechanisms in place once the traps across the Mojave are sprung. For now, your sole focus should be the Sierra Madre and how to get inside. Until then, you won't leave alive. More questions. Uh, why is my vision blurring? It is the cloud covering the villa. The longer you are outside, the more its toxins seep into your system. Through the lungs and the skin. Oh yeah, you've told you me. You will eat at you the longer you are outside. So wherever you go, move fast. Or you'll soon find yourself too weak to move. Fall asleep. And you will not wake up. Fuck you. More. So, who are you? Someone who followed the call of the Sierra Madre, just as you did. Now that I've found it's more than a story, I intend to take what's inside. Maybe that's why you came. Why you followed the Pip-Boy here. And straight into one of my traps. Now, this is your reward. I was just curious. Uh How are you speaking to me, anyway? Confused? Don't be. I'm commandeering the hologram technology of the villa. Numbers, equations, circuits, all can be controlled, provided there's a connection and the knowledge to use it. This villa, the casino, a treasure trove of such devices. The holograms include... Oh, please don't tell me you're not another computer ordering me an Asked. I have enough with house. So, what's inside? That is for me to know. You get that far, you'll see for yourself. I have more questions. Ask. So, who's the woman hologram in the fountain? I do not know. A pre-war icon, perhaps. It is of no consequence, aside from being a servant I can utilize. Okay, more questions. Ask. Who are these people, anyway, that I'm picking up? One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no, although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's got. How am I supposed to find them? Your piece of Rocco trash will help you, I've ensured. It can latch onto the signal of the callers. And tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. It was part of their design to listen in. They can even screen out white noise from the environment to allow greater monitoring. Any suggestions of who I should get first? Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He is docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from the trap. Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. Uh, what's an FEV? A long story. FEV, a virus, is an even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one. Turned them into a super mutant long ago. So where can I find Travel you? west toward the Villa Police Station. Follow the radio frequency and the alarms. Although, there's a great deal of interference in the source. Perhaps that's why I lost contact with him. No matter, aside from Caller 8, there should be weapons, armor at the police station. Go west, avoid the Villa inhabitants, bring the mutants back. Okay, that's all I need to know. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip-Boy, in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Okay, thanks. Good. If necessary, 
I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Oh, shit, 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 on a stick. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape yeah, I can build some troubles, kind of weaponry using these you things. just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. <coughs> Let go uh, and leave the uh -huh. world behind at the Sierra Christ, Madre this grand gas is opening choking. this October. We'll be waiting. What can we make? Any weapons? Oh, it's got a return for cigarettes. So if I collect cigarettes, I get chips. <sighs> Just food. I guess that's useful in a way. Are you listening? From now on, when I talk to you, pay attention. I've left markers on the pit boy. Find the three other callers in town. Eight, twelve, and fourteen. Get them to the fountain. Obey me. Ah, food. Magazine. Shit, this isn't good. Cass and Eddie must have been locked out by the automatic security systems. I'm gonna be stuck here on my own, aren't I? More cigarettes. I need to gather as much as I can. Vera. Who the fuck is Vera? Come on, give me something I can hit. This gate to the Sierra Madre is sealed. Locked. For now. Do as I say and it won't be locked for much longer. Ashtray, Wonder Glue. Oh. Shut up, you bloody machine. West. Come to a place where wealth Go west, he says. Shouldn't be too hard. Duct tape. Gonna need that. Do some jerry. Aha, a knife. That's the way out after you break into the Sierra Madre's vault. Try to leave. I'll set off your collar. Okay, so we've got police station. That's where we need to go. Probably best to grab the wonder glue I saw earlier. Okay, a holographic rifle at the ready. Four rounds. Shouldn't be too difficult. <coughs> ah, shit, that stuff really burns. Bobby pins at last. Okay, deep breaths, Max. <clears throat> Not too deep, though. <sighs> this is shit. Okay. Police station. Let's get out there like goddamn pre-war marines.